what we're trying to do is to establish a very safe uh, and expectable country, a, a safe economics, say common rules, simple rules, transparency above everything, and modernization of the state. So our first step in this transformation was actually creating a new area, a new division of substances and chemical management of products. This area will have, and actually already has, four main programs under it. The first program is the, what we call the special program from, for chemical and waste management. Under this program, we are aligning all the efforts to not only to generate a, a new and more clearer and more evocative normative regarding a regulatory, a regulatory framework regarding chemicals, but also what's related to the compliance of the international agreements on chemicals and waste. We also have the Interfrontier Movements Unit here, as well as the last unit. We mainly work uh, regarding the multilateral agreements, uh, all the previous consents before exporting and importers, importing are, are being held in this area. And we have the Federal Environmental Monitoring Network. This is a, a, a network that joins all the quality controls and data that we have among the different provinces of Argentina. In Argentina, we have 23 provinces and a capital city that is considered as one. So since we are a federal country, we are from the nation side, we are not all the owners of the natural resources, but the provinces are. So what we are doing is trying to collect all the information available and put it all together and in one same space, one same web page. You will find different, different labels. There is information regarding quality of the resources, but also regarding waste and others. We do have a very strong chemical net, uh, uh, regulation on agriculture, on health, and on food, but there is nothing regarding industrial use of chemicals. Like, everything is held from different sectors, so it's not clear, it's kind of what happens in Mexico, it's not clear what's going, what, what's going on and what does apply if you're using a chemical substance for one thing or for another, it's not clear what you should be complying with. So each one of the 24 jurisdictions has its own laws and they can apply it. So imagine the, the, how complicated it is to, 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 to move some product from one place to another, or some waste from one place to another, or to comply with the environmental requirements. What we do have from the national side is the possibility, because uh, our constitution establishes so, of setting up the minimal parameters that must be complied along the country. So this is what we are working on. We are creating laws that have those, that, that ending, the, the setting of the minimal parater, parameters that have, have to be complied. So what have we done so far? We do have GHS implemented. That's a very good advance for us. We do have it uh, though in the labor sector as well. So uh, we are going through right now to trying to uh, comply also in the agricultural sector with GHS. Um, but, but this has been something very well done from our labor ministry. And they have been doing this also in stages. Um, the last stage was June of last year in which the whole system must be applied along the, the labor side. Also, we, we, are, uh, we have an, an Argentinian organization on accreditation that it's, has accepted and is fully part of the decisions of the OCDE regarding mutual acceptance data and good laboratory <coughs> practices. So this got us to this graphic that it's simplifying as much as possible our current situation and, and where we, are, we have to, to make some modification on, on the regulatory framework. So starting from chemicals and, and uh, having industrial, industrial processes or any kind of processes of, uh, to, to those chemicals, we would get products and subproducts. So there is no, 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 no framework for, for, for products. There is no legislation regarding uh, what information they should be giving to the, to the people. So this is one of the 
challenges that we are facing. We have to establish what kind of information we are going to provide to our customers. Hazardous waste, we do have a, a law, uh, but this law has more than 30 years, so it's quite, it, it's not updated. We are actually going through a new law um, that follows international parameters, and we are expecting to finally go put it into Congress this year and, and, and get it accepted. We are actually creating also a new law on producing extended responsibility, and that's the, the, the arrow at the end. Um, this is also going to Congress this year. Also regarding emissions, we only have regulatory framework on mobile sources, and by this I mean vehicles. But there is nothing nationwide on stationary sources, and that's a huge challenge for this, for us. Regarding in industrial sludge releases and effluents and sewage, we are also lacking normative, but we, are already, we already have some decrees that are going to be signed, hopefully, in the following months that will as, at, uh, as well establish the minimum parameters that we have to comply nationwide. We are also working on a new law on contaminated sites management. This has also <coughs> been already uh, studied by the private sector and by the provinces and there is agreement and hopefully we will also be seeing this this year. We do intend to strengthen the national capacities for sound management of chemical and waste. And this we do have the donor of United Nations that is giving, giving us some resources to start working on this. From this point of view and from this point for the special program that I mentioned before, it, this is where we are um, developing and undertaking the challenge of having a new framework, legal framework regarding chemicals management. And we are actually looking for mostly the same thing that the, the rest of the countries have shown before. We do need to have, first of all, the registry or the inventory, you can call it whatever you want, of, the, of, of chemicals and of whole chemicals, especially industrial chemicals because there is nothing about them. But we are looking for a harmonized uh, registry. We are actually looking so for the implementation talk. of multilateral agreements regarding substances and hazardous waste. And this is where we are going with the chemicals management. This is something we, you have already seen to this morning. So a register, an inventory, risk analysis, risk management, and enforcement and auditing. This is where we are going. We still don't know how we are getting there. Okay, so this is everything.